Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do with the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is about the refreshing rate because uh, maybe you have heard it already, your phone supports a refreshing rate of 120Hz, which one is very fluid in the display and so on, but the default settings uh, are just with 60Hz, so let me show you how you can change that. Okay, just scroll down here, then go to the symbol for the settings, then uh, scroll down to the point display. And if you scroll down a bit now, again, you will have here the refresh rate. So as you can see, it is already here at 60 Hertz, so the standard. No? But if you want to have a high refreshing rate, you have to, uh, to tap here on the blue field. And now we have the refreshing rate of 120 Hertz. Um, but let me tell you, this takes a lot of energy. So if you don't play games or something like this, you can keep going on with the 60 Hertz because the 60 Hertz are um, okay. But if you want to have a very fluid display and so on, and especially if you're playing a lot of games or uh, watching a lot of uh, videos with a high frame rate, then you should uh, use the first point, the blue point here, the 120 Hertz. Okay, the next thing uh, what I want to show you is uh, also something um, quick. Uh, it, you can remove animations. No? Let me show you what I mean. So if you are uh, back into the settings now, uh, and if you're going somewhere here, you see always these animations. No? Swipe in from the side, swipe out again, and so on. Have you seen that? But you can remove these animations, and then your phone feels a bit faster. So for that, just go on the point Additional Settings. Then we go here to the point Accessibility. So see, it's swipe in and so on. Then go here on the point Vision. And we will have here the point remove animations. And if I enter it now, so that's my blue, then if I go back now, there's nothing swiping me out or something like this. And uh, that makes your phone, so that your phone feels faster uh, without these animations. So it depends on your feeling with animation, it looks nice, but some people say, okay, it takes a bit too much time and your phone feels faster without these animations. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is about the system navigation. Because uh, we have here the navigation bars, the default settings, and I prefer that uh, also as well. But uh, if it's disturbs you here, you can work also with complete uh, gestures, no? uh, like on the iPhone maybe. So let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here again, then go to the simple for the settings. And then if we scroll down now to the point home screen, you will have here the point system navigation. Okay, we have the button method here, and but if I'm switching here to the gestures, yeah, I can have here a little tutorial with learn, and it gives me some advices how to work with. So I want to learn more about, okay, swipe from the button, um, quickly then I'm back, uh, and so on. Uh, swipe from the uh, pause like this, then I have a decent uh, settings and so on. Um, so I have um, many, uh, as I have a good tutorial as you can see, and it's also simple as well. But I've told you, I, um, uh, I prefer the button method here. But if you want to give it a try to just uh, change to these gestures, make this tutorial maybe you like it, but I will go back here to my navigation bar. So one of the next things I would recommend to you is to check the text size, because you say, oh, large screen, why not having a bigger text? So just scroll down here, go to the symbol for the settings, and then go to the point display again. And here we will have the point text size. So, and here we can change the text size. So small so s is standard no? but i can have it also a bit bigger and so on it affects also um uh, the text here at the desktop yeah your eyes will say thank you okay the next feature is for the camera because uh, if you have a great opportunity to take a very nice picture you have to look at first for the camera app and so on and it takes a bit time so i would recommend to you to set up something to quick launch the camera with the power button let me show you what i mean so for that, just scroll on here, 
and go to the symbol for the settings. As you can see, everything is large now. Uh, so then we have to go to the point, additional settings. So and here we will need to point gesture shortcuts. And then we will need to point launch camera. So, and here we will need the first point, as I would recommend to you the first point, you know, because if you enable it, um, that means if we double press now the power button, we are immediately in the camera without wasting time for looking for the camera app and so on. And what is also very great, yeah, also if my phone is on standby, I can do the same. Double tap the power button and you also immediately add the camera without wasting time. And maybe that saves your great picture. So we go back here. Our next point is to uh, clone apps because you can have uh, two WhatsApp accounts. Why not? No? Because you can insert two SIM cards and uh, you can have for each SIM card also a WhatsApp account. No? Why not? Or you can have two Snapchat accounts on the phone, two Messenger accounts, two Instagram accounts, two Netflix accounts as well. Um, many opportunities. Uh, let me show you what I mean. But at first, let me make the um, text size a bit smaller. That is not too different from your uh, phone, maybe. As, as you can see, I had it on, on XL. Let me put it on L and it's still a bit bigger. Um, okay, uh, so if we want to clone apps, no? just go to the settings, scroll down. Go to the symbol for the settings. So then we have to scroll down to the point apps. So, and here we will have a point named dual apps. So, and then we will have here a list which apps are supported with that feature. So just select WhatsApp, no? so tap here to mark a blue, then you have cloned the app. Um, at the beginning, you have to tap also here to confirm it again, um, just follow the instructions of the phone carefully and uh, yeah, go back to clone maybe also Instagram, maybe in my case, or we can also clone Amazon. No? It's also possible. Let's take the messenger as well. Okay, now let's have a look how it looks like finally. So this is my main WhatsApp account, the green one here, and that would be here the second one with the orange corner. You can always recognize it here at the orange corner. Same with Instagram, my main one, and here the second one. Or here my messenger is my main one, and this is here my second one with the orange corner. Uh, Amazon I have here is my main one, and here is my second Amazon account. So very nice. Okay, also a nice feature of that phone I would really recommend to you. Uh, the phone is very large and you cannot reach everything with your thumb and so on. And there's a way to make the screen a bit smaller. You can have a mini screen, a one-handed mode. So let me show you how you can have that. So just scroll on here. Then go to the symbol for the settings. So, and then you have to go to the point, additional settings. So then we will have here the one-handed mode. Okay, and this point here, no, one-handed mode, has to be marked blue. And then we have enabled the one-handed mode. Here you can choose the size of the mini screen. And now let me show you how it looks like. We will need a navigation bar for, uh, for that. And we have to swipe from the inside to the outside. No? Both directions are well. Depends if you're left-handed or right-handed. Let me put it now for left-handed people here. Go from the inside to the outside here like this. And now... I could use it with my left hand and I can really completely use it. Um, I can really play games with that mini screen and so on. So it is nice. So if you want to go back, just tap here on the black field and you're back in the regular mode. If you want to have it for right handed people, so just go in the middle to the arrow like this. And now you, you have it on the other side for right handed people like me. Okay, uh, if you want to go back, just tap here on the outside and you are back in the regular mode. Yeah, the next feature is for our eyes because uh, if you're looking too often on our smartphones, our eyes feel really stressed with it and uh, there's a way um, to give our eyes a bit more comfort during this situation. And uh, let me show you how you can 
enable this feature. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and by the way, we will have also some shortcuts here if you doesn't, doesn't know it. And at uh, this point, I want to show you right now is the reading mode. If I enable this feature, you see the phone is turning into another color because the reading mode is a blue light filter. No? And that is very great for our eyes, by the way. Um, so it is great if you're looking often on your smartphone. And um, you can also set it up, by the way. If you tap you on that, sy that symbol and hold your finger on it, you're directly in the settings for the reading mode. And um, you can change it also into the paper one, but I would recommend to you to go on with the classic mode. Okay, if you want, you can chat you also here the classic mode again if you tap you on the arrow, because then you can change the color temperature here. You, know, you can make it a bit more colder, as a more usual display and so on. But I would recommend to you to make it uh, more warm because of it's unusual, but it is um, then the blue light is filtered much uh, more and uh, it's much more comfortable than for the eyes. And um, you should have it at latest at night uh, because uh, if your eyes feel stressed, you could may have problems to, to fall into sleep. And uh, if you don't like it to have it on a day, you should have, have it at minimum at night. And then I would recommend to you this feature here below. No, I disabled it just now, but if I enable it again, then you can chat you the time. And uh, I would recommend then to you the first point here, the good night suite. That means that the reading mode turns on automatically uh, with the sunset and will turn off with the sun wise. And um, then you have it at minimum at night. But if you are able to become used to with the little yellow uh, screen, then uh, I would really recommend to you to uh, leave that classic reading mode here permanently one in the background. Okay, there's something to support our eyes in the evening. So for that, just scroll down, scroll down a second time, go to the second page. It is the one next to the reading mode symbol, it's the dark mode, because this feature will support your eyes at latest at night uh, also because of everything is dark around you and uh, you have this white screen it disturbs your eyes as well so you should turn it on black and then it is also much more comfortable for your eyes and also this feature you can enable it by your own or you can also chat you with it if you want by just tapping here and holding your finger on the symbol again if you want to chat you this dark mode then just enable this point here like at me and uh, then set up just a turn on time and set up a turn off time. So very great. If you uh, turned on all the time, it's also not that bad because if you have enabled the dark mode, um, in the dark area here, the pixels are turned off and that saves a lot of energy. So it is also great. And uh, yeah, this is also my next point, our last point already. Uh, so we have an ultra battery saving mode here in that phone as well and that is using also the dark mode and for that uh, let me turn off at first here the reading mode and so on to show it may a bit better okay let me show you how you can enable this ultra battery saving mode so just scroll down here scroll down a second time go on the second page and then we will have here the ultra battery safer okay tap it and then you can see how much time we will have we have more than 341 hours um, and uh, these are many days um, our phone uh, could work with this ultra battery saving mode it turns out uh, uh, of a lot of stuff in the background it goes in the dark mode um, it offers also the gps and so on it reduce the cpu speed uh, it reduces the brightness of the screen and so on and uh, yeah, you should set it up also. That's the reason why I want to show you now with the 10 first things to do because you have not all the apps available. You, know, you have maybe WhatsApp here, you have um, the, the phone, uh, the contacts, uh, the, the text messages and so on. But you can add also here some other apps may like the Chrome browser. Go on done, I have the Chrome browser here. Then I can add uh, also another app, maybe YouTube. Hey, why not? And uh, yeah, so we can choose now our favorite apps here on that um, uh, on, 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 on that desktop here. 
And yeah, next time if you enable the dark mode, uh, if you just have a few percent on your phone, you have already your favorite apps here. And may this feature, as you have seen, we could increase the battery uh, lifetime um, for many days. May this feature will save your life one day. Huh? Okay, if you want to exit this mode, by the way, just go here on the arrow and this ultra body shaving mode is turned off and you're back in the regular mode with all your data and so on. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and show you some nice uh, tools you uh, could uh, set up your phone with. And uh, yeah, I would be really thankful if you can give me maybe a nice uh, comment or a thumbs up uh, that because that uh, supports my videos very well. Uh, thank you so, so much for and uh, yeah, if you want, you can also have a look on one of my other videos or subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Uh, thank you so, so much for your support. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.